this is Jurong East, which is where I used to live before I moved to Clementi. This is the first time I'm out of the Clementi area in months. So there's no particular reason for me to be here. I just kind of wanted to be out of Plymouth for once. Also, I figured I could get some groceries that are of a different variety, maybe make something different. There's a Don Don Donkey here, so I'm gonna go check that out. I think it should be open. Most of the stuff is closed though, as expected. Phase 2 is still a ways away. So these burritos used to be like one of our staple dinners and lunches sometimes back when I still lived in Jerome East. Kind of for old time's sake as well I decided to get one and it's still pretty good. For whatever reason it tastes a lot better than what you can get here in Clementine. So. So I'm just eating some of the random treats that I got from Donkey yesterday. Black sesame tonkotsu instant ramen and it's... I think it's pretty reasonable. It's good for instant ramen. And this is some kani miso. I've only had these in Japan before. It's alright. Those in Japan is a lot better but... I'm not exactly sure what kani miso is. It's not crab and miso, but it's crab miso, so it's something that comes out of the crab itself. This one is alright. It's not the best I've had by any means, but it's alright. So, if you've seen the vlogs of the past two weeks or so, you'll probably know that phase two of the recovery phase here in Singapore is when a lot of things will start going back to normal. Right? You can do some limited visiting again, you can dine in at restaurants again, and uh, it turns out that they have announced the date for the commencement of phase two, and uh, phase two begins 19th of June. Guess what the date is today?
got to say, feels pretty good. It's a great day to be out in the coffee shop, really. It's sunny, and it's not very hot, and it's very breezy. You see? You see my hair? Feels great. It's a good day, you know? <laughs> So, it's Friday night, we are at the tail end of the vlog again, and uh, I'm feeling like doing a cooking walkthrough of sorts tonight, so we're gonna do that, and you may have, you know, this very legitimate question in mind, it's Friday night, it is the first day of phase two of the reopening, don't you have somewhere to go? Well, the answer to that is no. And for two reasons. A, anywhere that is worth going must be extremely crowded. This is day one, the first day that an entire island of people have been released from their home prisons. So I'm not gonna go out there and fight with them for entertainment. B, I mentioned before that the circuit breaker doesn't really change my daily modus operandi all that much. And well, this is just me living my usual daily modus operandi. So let's go make something. So I've got some scallops today. These are already pre-boiled, but they should still have quite a bit of flavor. And the plan is to make spaghetti. So the chief ingredients here are gonna be the scallops, of course, cherry tomatoes, healthy dose of garlic and of course spaghetti. So the idea here is we're gonna, I'm gonna start with something very much like a base for spaghetti aglio but after that we're gonna make it more saucy, put in some water and we're gonna boil it with the cherry tomatoes so that you get a very nice sticky and tangy flavor of the sauce and then we'll toss that with our spaghetti and scallops and the result should hopefully taste quite good indeed. So to start things off, you want to half the tomatoes. You're going to peel and dice up the garlic. So for the pasta, I actually only have a single pan in this house, so I usually cook my pasta in the microwave. Slightly barbaric, but it works. But the important point here is you got to salt your pasta nice and good. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I have a pan, start searing uh, the scallops. So I'm gonna toss in a good bit of olive oil or oil de oliva, as they say. So I'm gonna put on a nice knob of butter. Okay, scallops in. Going to season with salt and pepper. Since the scallops are already cooked, we don't want to sear them for too long. I think we'll take them out already. So, next, we want to make the sauce. So, first off, we are going to start with putting a good bit more oil. We want to create a nice base of fragrant garlic infused oil. So we'll grab the garlic, chop the garlic in the low fire just to let the garlic simmer in the oil and just infuse that garlic flavor into all of that olive oil. All right, next thing you want to do is to douse this in some pasta water, which is basically the water, the salted water that you're using to Boil your spaghetti, just douse it in to the mouth. Half tomatoes in. I'm gonna mix it around and just let it boil together. Actually, leave this for a few minutes. You don't want to just 
saute the tomatoes. You want the tomatoes to kind of dissolve into the mixture, create this nice tangy flavor. A bit of chili flakes would help the flavor as well. So I'm gonna put a bit of that and just let it simmer. We are ready for the final step, which is literally to just toss everything together. So spaghetti in, toss it around with the sauce a bit. Now we're gonna put our scallops in as well. Scallops, everything in. Everything tossed together. And finally, for good measure, we're gonna just pretentiously chop some chopped up, not so fresh parsley over the top. You know, the thing about having someone longer hair is that when it gets really rainy, then my hair gets kind of sticky as well. So that is going to do it for this week's vlog, more or less. And uh, I'm actually thinking of doing something unusual. And uh, so the thing is, I don't feel like I'm getting enough practice with, you know, talking about complex topics on camera. I'm pretty much in that at coming up with, you know, interesting talking points on the fly, impromptu. And I've been too busy slash lazy to actually do a dedicated video essay, although I've been thinking of doing one for the longest time. So I figured that a compromise that I could do is to do an essay reading, that is I would just read someone else's essay and that would at least let me practice the talking bits, you know. So I think I'm actually gonna do that, but that's gonna be in a separate video that you can check out if you're interested in. We'll see how that goes and we'll see if I wanna do that as a regular thing or not. But as for this vlog, we are done. We have not done too many interesting post-circuit breaker things, but that may or may not change next week. We shall see. Thank you for watching. See you next week.